Guys, the war between DC and Marvel has begun, and I'm actually kind of excited about it. What the director of Joker, Todd Phillips, has to say in this article is actually really, really great, and I can't wait to jump into it with you guys, because he has some really, really awesome things to say, and this could actually turn out to be a really uh, bright future for DC moving forward. So, I'm excited to show you what he has to say in this article here. So, DC versus Marvel War. Shout out to Bounding to Comics, by the way. They do a fantastic job. Go check out their website because they do a great job with all of their articles. Um, and I love, I love what they cover. They do a great job. So, DC versus Marvel War is on, claims Joker director Todd Phillips. Um, some question of the Marvel vs. DC war is really a thing. Todd Phillips, the director of this year's Joker movie, isn't one of them. In an interview with Empire Magazine, Phillips discussed the T DC film Warner Brothers production strategy and declared the war is real and they can um, that they can do better than Marvel with less. Which is a really interesting take because, as we all know, Marvel is really into their CGI. I mean, I posted a... a picture the other day of uh in one of my videos of like sam jackson from spider-man far from home when he uh shoots his dart gun at uh ned or whatever the background is cgi he's literally sitting in a house with a wooden wall behind him and they cgi'd a wooden wall behind him that is getting to the level of pathetic with cgi and that's just crossing a line that does not need to be crossed i Look, I, I like CG to be used when it, when it's necessary, but I hate it when it's overused. I really, really do. So, um, this is a really, really interesting take from, from um, let me see here. Film writer Johnny Sob... So I don't even know how to pronounce that name, so I'm not even going to try. Revealed in a tweet with a hat tip to Empire, Joker was a Todd Phillips pitch he sold Warner Brothers on... Uh, Phillips did so... at at the after party for the premiere of War Dogs, a film he directed that starred Miles Teller and Jonah Hill. It came out in 2016. Um, so this is from Johnny. Todd Phillips pitched Joker to Warner Brothers executives at the after party of the War, Dog, War Dogs premiere. He suggested that they begin a new division called DC Black. Okay, this is really exciting stuff, guys. He suggested they, be began, they begin a new division called DC Black, separating itself from the current crop of DC films. It was also a way of differenti differentiating from Marvel. So, um, let's see here, let's see. Joker will ser serve as a proving ground, according to Phillips, an experiment that will lay the foundation for DC Films' future. I say, this is from Todd Phillips, I say, let Joker be the first, then let's get effing great filmmakers to come in. Instead of trying to live in the shadow of the beast, MCU, let's do something they can't. I love what he's saying here. I absolutely love this. What they can't do, as in Marvel or won't, is be grounded and realistic by staying away from the green screen and visual effects. Phillips mused about filming in the Bronx for Joker and preferred, prefers the energy that came with it. The energy you get from an actor is different from on 179th Street and Jerome Avenue in the Bronx than if we did that with green screen, which, by the way, I don't even know how to do stuff like that there's not one green screen in this movie so what he's saying here basically is that they are trying to start a new division of dc films where it's going to be really grounded there's going to be very very minimal D uh visual effects in them it's going to be focused on giving it a real uh a real uh feeling to the movies and stuff and I love what he says here. Let Joker be the first, then let's get effing great filmmakers to come in. Instead of trying to live in the shadow of the beast MCU, let's do something they can't. So, he wants to basically take uh, DC back to the Dark Knight type of filmmaking. And I absolutely love that. I think that is a great direction for DC. And I think that if they actually stick to that, th this could actually be very beneficial to them. Stop trying to focus on be trying to be like Marvel. Stop trying to do these team up movies. Stop trying to do your own take on Avengers. Stop it. Just stop it. Get back to making DC movies with awesome filmmakers who want to explore these different characters and their stories without having to rely on trying to make huge DC or visual effects of um, explosion movies and stuff and all that because that is the strength of DC I think is that they can actually play into the strength of what makes DC so great and that is that the DC characters are more grounded they are more um, real in a lot of ways than the Marvel characters and I actually think that if they 
if they play into that, that would be a great thing that would work in their favor. So I'm excited to see where they're going to go with this. I really hope that Joker does well. I really do because I think that this movie uh, looks really awesome. I'm super excited for the Joker and I'm excited to see what they're going to be doing with the movie. Um, and uh, if that's kind of the beginning of a new phase for DC where they're going to be doing uh, new types of movies um, that are going to be with great filmmakers and stuff, that sounds awesome. They really should make Todd Phillips in charge of DC. They really should. Like, screw J.J. Abrams. Get him out of here. Make Todd Phillips in charge of DC Universe moving forward. Go in his vision because I think he has the right vision for this. And I guarantee you it is way better than J.J. Abrams' vision would be for DC. So with that being said, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this news? What do you think about what Todd Phillips is saying in this article here? I would be curious to hear what you guys have to say. So let me know in the comments below what you think, and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.